welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, Psychic Medium Channel, Hypnotist, Healer, all the stuff. I am. I am. Okay, we are going to get started right away. I always say that, <laughs> but we are today. We are. I'm going to be taking callers from the call log, 845-277-9131. Three, one. If you'd like to call in, ask a question, connect with a loved one on the other side or, you know, in the spirit world, or, you know, find out what's coming down the pike from you, whatever it is, call in 845-277-9131. If you would like to ask a question on the chat and watch this live. <laughs> as it's happening. <laughs> you can join us on YouTube. I will be going between questions in the chat, chat and questions in the call log. My call log presents over here. My chat presents over here. And I will be answering questions from people in the chat, people who are calling in. If you'd like to watch live, if you'd like to join all of this fun live, it's um, every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. A couple quick, very quick announcements. Um, <clears throat> this show right here, this show is up for awards. Yes. Yes, so excited. Um, when the results are in, I will let you guys know. Numero dos, dos, two. Oh, my nose is itching. That means children are here today. They're like tickling the inside of my nose. Okay. Um, number two, February 8th. Nope, not February 8th. <laughs> February 2nd. I will be live at Daytona Beach at the Cinematique doing... Um, a show answering questions, connecting with loved ones, doing the look of love, all kinds of healing, all kinds of connections. It's going to be a spirit filled night. It'll be so much fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, my nose. I don't know if you can even uh, comprehend. Okay. So whenever uh, children are around one of my symbols or signs for children is that they are, they tickle, they like tickle the inside of my nose. They think it's hilarious because I don't know, they're children. So that's what they do. But that's one of the ways they let me know there are children here with us. I get it. You're here. Um, Michaela is here. Okay, Michaela. Um, or for, I'm going to just start with names right away. We're going to go into names because I apparently need to, to make this stop. Um, it could be your name, their name, or somebody involves name. So the first name is Michaela. The next name is Joshua. The next name is Jimmy. The next name is Luke and Lucinda. They're not together, just both of those names came in at the same time. We have uh, the name Michelle or Michelle, and then Michelle, Michelle. And then we have the name um, uh, Ed, 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 I, I have such a problem with my R's and W's still, Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that name is pronounced. Um, the next name is Paola, pa Paula, pa pa whatever that name. And then the next name is, uh, okay, the next name is, um, Lindsay, 
I'm only going to do a couple a couple of more names and then we'll get right into songs. The next name is Jesson. J E S S O N. <clears throat> Besson is a name, B-E-S-O-N, Besson. Rico or Ricardo. Okay. It's a B name and it's an older name. Oh, okay. Beatrice. And then there's um I'm going to I'm going to say some locations that I'm hearing now. I'm asking them questions as they're giving me things. So I'm sorry that if there's a little bit of a stall in there. Um these locations could be significant to you or the person, you, your lineage. I'm hearing lineage, lineage, lineage. And the first location is Italy. So if your lineage is in Italy, um, Calabria, Italy is the one of the first places. Um, the next place I'm hearing is Spain. The next place I'm hearing is, again, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Again, uh, uh, not again, uh, Gu Guadalajara, um, and then Panama City. Okay, those are the places that I'm hearing. Now I'm going to go directly into songs. This so The song could be a song they loved, a song you loved. The song could be answering a question. Either way, it should be something that helps you know that they're connecting to you. And with the songs, I may just get words that are also confirmations. Everything here should be some sort of confirmation for you. So the first, so it's just very white, anything very white, anything very white. The next thing, uh, the next song is, uh, Was there a movie Geronimo or is that like the Lone Ranger and no, that's the Lone Ranger and Tonto. It's like Geronimo. Maybe that's just a statement. I think that's maybe just a statement and not a song. Okay. The next song is, um, or the next thing I'm hearing is, um, and this came through in the chat this morning. If you love me, let me know. If you don't, then let me go. And for some of you players out there, too late. I'm already gone. We're already gone. Not me personally, but we're already gone. If we have to ask, we're assuming it's a no-go and we'd be done now. We're not playing no more. Um, the next song is... Um, uh, this song comes through all the time. Live and let. Okay, the next song is. Um, actually, they want to give me uh, symbols or signs for confirmations. If you see this, that means they're around you. And the first symbol and or sign is a bunny. Bunnies. <laughs> Why did my voice crack when I said that? The next symbol and or sign is sunflowers. The next symbol and or sign or confirmation, I'm just going to call them confirmations, are daisies. They think they're so funny. We're pushing up daisies. That's what they said. Daisies. Any color, doesn't matter. Any style of daisy, doesn't matter. Daisies. Whew. Somebody's here who at the end, they couldn't get their breath. Like it was like so hard to breathe. They're like, <sighs> like they just could not get their breath. Um, and then there's somebody here who had um, severe, severe COPD or emphysema, something with breathing. 
Um, it could be the same person. It could be somebody else. It's just they're here. The next person was very arth arth arthritic, very arthritic. Um, they want you to know they're no more pain. It's all gone. They're good. And then I know we're supposed to be doing songs, right? But I don't get to, I'm not the boss of my show. I will say it over and over and over again. I am certainly not the boss of my show. Um, the next symbol is uh, this person was very diabetic and uh, just love cake. <laughs> these are in, these are not, it's a confirmation, but they're like, listen, by this, you should know who they are, okay? <laughs> you should know who they are. And and that might have been chocolate cake, by the way. Um, the next person or the next thing, I'm not even trying to do people. I'm just, whatever they say, it's coming out. Leukemia. So I feel like that might have been somebody smaller who 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 had that. Okay. I'm going to get off of that now and I'm going to go to callers. I'm going to answer questions in the chat. If you have a question and you would like to ask it, the phone number is 845-277-9131. Call in. I will get to your question. If you are watching live like Patrick and Amy and um, Aaron, Is Isabella, Michelle, Sal, Jay Frantic, Mystic Raven, um, Pine Lake Apartments. Hey, you guys, how are you? How are you? There's so many more that I've, I've, I've not um, said. Um, Genevieve, of course, Genevieve is here. Um, but thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If I miss your name, please forgive me. I'm going to start with a, a caller, and then I'm going to go to a question in the chat, and in between. In the meantime, in between time, that's for somebody, not for me. I'll be giving channelings and messages. I'm going to go to um, 904. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, Tony. This is Pat, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Pat. How are you? I'm pretty good. Just relaxing today. I got a couple days off. Beautiful. Being, being lazy, I guess I could say. <laughs> hey, there's no such thing as lazy. It's called rest and recovery. We are in our rest and recovery point. <laughs> oh, great. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> Excellent. How can I help you, my love? I was wondering if I could get a message from an old friend that's passed over. Her name is Dina, D-I-N-A. Okay. Did Dina go a bit of time ago? I'm sorry, what? How, how long ago did Dina go? 2020. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the first thing Dina wants to say is, uh, gosh, she's, she, it, it's such a funny state. It's not a funny statement to me, but it's. I think there might be a song that has this statement in it, but the first first thing she's saying is remember when remember when remember when like being very nostalgic remembering back to the people places times things that were good um and she's saying i'm only able to take the good out of everything so i want you to take the good out of everything also Rem Awesome. So the song goes something like "Remember when?" Da, na, na, na. It's it's an it's a bit of a song that was around a bit ago, and um, the next thing she wants to say is um, it's the it, it, she's going old school with songs like "Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying" or "Don't Let the Moon Catch You Crying" is the next song. What she's trying to say is. If you're going to think back on things, think happy things, think about happy things. And if you're and don't be sad about things because everything can turn around in the wink of an eye, not the blink of an eye, a wink of the, the of an eye, which which is cute and very catchy. 
um, for those who, who use the law of attraction or manifestation. Um, these little, this little, little stinker. Um, the next thing that she wants to say to you is, um, she's singing a song and this should make, she's saying, just sing it, just sing it. I'm so sorry. You have just reached my answering machine. I would sing more, but I don't know the words, so that's all you get. I don't really know that song. I don't, I'm flipping amazed I could get that much of that song. I'm so sorry you have just reached my answering machine. Okay, so she said that will make you laugh, and she wants you to do more things like that. That will totally just crack your butt up. That's not the word she used. Um but she just wants you to find yourself in a happy place. Put in old comedies that made you crack up. Put in things that just make you laugh and turn turn your energy around. It's time to take take it back. Take it back. Take back your like your joy or your happiness. Um, it's time to get back right. on board with that. Now, sometimes, and we are living through let me put it this way. We are surviving a time that is a very challenging time for us, okay, as humans. Yeah. And and we are going to have to find ways to, no matter what, I'm trying to say this in a way that will not get me flagged, okay, on this show with the, <laughs> the tube people. We are going to have to find right, I understand. ways that no matter what happens around us, we can still keep our joy and our happiness and be strong. Um, so one of the things is just to remember who you are and why you're here is what Dina is saying. And Dina wants you to know she's, she's like, I'm riding, I can't get the beat of the song, and I so apologize for this. I'm riding high. I, and I, if I, I can hear the beat, I just cannot catch a beat, folks. Um, and you know <laughs> what it is, or something like that. I can't catch all the words either, apparently. But um, it's a, it's like a, it sounds like it would be a very cool song. I would really like to hear that song sometime. Um but just to keep yourself in those higher frequencies, no matter what it takes or no matter how much you have to try to do to get there. Um, and, and always remember everything is happening in a way that you can survive. So if you're going to survive, do it with joy. Okay. Yep. Oh, and she Goodness, loves you. She loves you. She says some of her funniest things, like pee your pants funny things, were when she looks back, were were with you guy, with you and maybe a couple other people. But um just remember back to those things because that's what she thinks about when she thinks about it. Okay, beauty. To what? Oh, okay, beauty. Is that is okay? Like that's I think that's the uh is okay. Okay, Pat. Does that is that helpful, Pat? Yes, yeah. It's a perfect message for me at this time. Excellent. <laughs> I've been in that post COVID slump. <laughs> I know it's so difficult right now with everything. Um, but we have to remember, I you know, know, everything is just a moment in time. And that moment will pass and we will get through it. And then we we have to, you know, there's this thing that we have to survive what is, we have to, we can't just survive what happens. We have to thrive in what happens. You know, we, we survive it and then we have to thrive. And it's really difficult sometimes, but we, we have to. Um, because as long as we're here, we need to be here in the best way. We need to show up in the strongest and best way that we can. And what I'm getting, um, 
I'm going to do a healing and or clearing for everybody. Um, we are strong. I kind of am in the middle of that. Uh, let's strengthen everybody listening. And then um, I'm going to do this. Um, and I have to say it appropriately. All of the cells. There we go. Thank you. Spirit is so amazing. All of the cells in our body are extremely healthy. Let's get that to a yes. And replicating or duplicating into even healthier cells. Let's clear that all that cause kept. Let's clear all of that and pull out anything. All the causes of an unhealthy cell comes from the mind. All the causes of an unhealthy mind. Heal, clear, release that. So I'm, I'm, what I'm saying out of my mouth right now <laughs> is directly, it's like channeling, it's coming from above and I'm, re, I'm, I'm like not even knowing what I'm going to say part of the time when I'm doing clearing. So the, the way that it came out is the way they wanted to say it for everybody. And believe me, when we're really happy and we are really loved, we don't get, you know, all the stuff that some people get when they're not feeling loved and happy, okay? So just so everybody understands why they would say from the mind. It, 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 so that is it. Okay, Pat, I hope that was really helpful for you. And thank you so much for calling in. And thank you. Yep, that was great. Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. And don't forget, if you're going to be near the Daytona area, February 2nd, I'm going to be doing a live show there. So it would be wonderful to meet you in person. Okay. Where is it at in Daytona? The Cinematique. It's a theater. Cine yep. Cinematique? Yep. Cinematique. Yeah. In I'm a spouse of there. Cinematique. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I can make it up there. Yep. In, I'm on, a couple hours away from there. Oh, that's that's not horrible. It's on February 2nd, so it's a Friday night. And you, if you can, it would be amazing to see you there. Okay, love? All right. Thank you. Thank I'll try to make it. Thank you. I hope so, love. Okay. I'm going to go to a question on... On the chat, <laughs> Isabella wants to know, hi, Tony, does my dad, Doug, have any messages for me? Yes. Okay, your dad, Doug, wants to tell you don't. Uh, that is not what I thought this message was going to be. I didn't think the message was going to start with a don't, Isabella. Uh, so that... Uh, So there's something going on in your life right now, Isabella, I'm guessing. Um, and your dad is saying, don't take no for an answer. And I'm going to guess this might have something to do with work and or business because, oh my goodness, excuse me. I just keep hearing, don't take no for an answer. Don't take no for an answer. Don't take no for an answer. Um, don't, don't let, don't, if you don't, Keep, keep going until you get there or get what it is that you're, you're working or wanting. I want to say it appropriately. I'm guessing, Isabella, that this is work-related. If it's relationship-related, then it means don't stop until you get the information or the answer that you need. Don't just take whatever's you're good. Okay. I'm hearing you're going to know what this is. You're absolutely going to know what your dad is talking about. The other thing he wants to say is, um, did he speak? Did, did, do you, or did he speak? another language could you please answer or did one of your other ancestors speak another language because i'm hearing mia more or maya more i would say maya more but mia more 
did one of them speak uh, as uh, like a not a English? Uh, yeah, there it comes, folks. <laughs> like a not a English. <laughs> like a, there's there's the accent when they jump inside of me. <laughs> they don't literally jump inside of me. That does not happen. But when I'm channeling them, they're they're the way they spoke or close to it will come through. <laughs> um, I'm going to scroll down, Isabella. Uh, no, just English. No, no. Okay. So what I'm getting here, if it, if this is not for you, which I would think it would be, um, then it's somebody else who's listening and they're jumping in. But if, if it's not for you, what, what I'm going to say, Isabella, is they're going to say, First, don't take no. Don't take no for an answer. Whatever it is you want, go and get it. Don't, 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 don't let them change it. That's your message from your dad, and he loves you. Okay. There's another person here. Now I'm gonna just switch over. Isabella, I hope that was really helpful. And I this other person is coming in very strong. And they have, uh, uh, I feel like English was not their first language and um, Mia Moore. So my, I think that's, I'm pretty positive. That's my love. And then uh, they're trying to speak, but it's very broken English. So if you are familiar with this, please let me know that you are familiar with this so that I can, I can get that message to you once we connect. Okay. I'm the, for, 89728. Nope, that is not the number. The call in number is 845. Let me look at the call in number, everybody. <laughs> the call in number is 845 277 9131 if you'd like to ask a question or connect with a loved one. Otherwise, I'm going back and forth to answer questions via the phone. And oh, uh, um, in the chat, I'm trying to go in the order that I received the questions, but if I, if I lose my, my, my space, I, I, uh, please, please forgive me. Um, I will try to find it again. Um, hey, Patrick, how is California doing? I should, um, uh, thank you, Patrick. I should be I should be in California right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I should. It's it's yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to 718 718. What's your name and where are you calling? Um, this from? Is your history, the number, and, and, yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name and where are you calling from, love? I'm calling from New York. And how can I help you today, love? In the Bronx. The Bronx. Awesome. Um, uh huh. Well, my mom, I know she passed, but it's some things that I'm going through. Okay. And what was your mom's name, love? Lola. Lola. And can I please have your name, love? Esther. Esther. Okay. So uh, one thing I'm getting, okay, so I'm going to tell you first, there are several people coming through with your mom. And one of the people was healthier, like in size, a little healthy in size at one point in their life, very, very healthy in size. Um, and it was a woman and she was very um, firm and strong and not a lot of people would mess with her. So that's the woman I'm seeing, but now I that's see my grandmother. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I see some, I hear some, and she's the first person, of course, with that personality, she's going to be the first one charging in and opening the way because she just, she knew how to put it down. And everybody else will pick it up. Okay, that's what she's saying. Um, the first thing they're saying to me, and I'm going to try to say this in a way that um, 
they're just saying to you, okay, uh, Esther, right? Your name is Esther? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Esther, they're really being firm and like, I'm going to kind of say it the way they're saying it. You just need to remember who you are. You don't be letting other people tell you who you are. You need to remember who you are. It doesn't matter what you do, don't, will, won't have. It's about you and who you are on the inside. And you have forgotten your place in this world. You have forgotten who you are as a person. You have forgotten your divinity. And you need to pick up yourself. You need to pick up any pieces that you think have been taken or fallen from you but they're still with you and you need to give to yourself and stop giving to all these. I don't, I don't know that I want to use that term. Other, oh, that's okay. <laughs> other people, <laughs> other people and whatever you've been giving to other people, it stops today because they, they can do for themselves. And if they're not willing to do for themselves, you shouldn't be going out of your way and doing for them. You need to do for you. Everything you've been putting out in the form of love and money and this and that and the other thing, you bring that all right back to you now. You bring that all right back to you now. And you feed yourself. You feed yourself that love, that everything. You give it to yourself first and then, when somebody shows you they're willing to be equal with give and take, when they show you they're going to give first and consistently, not just to get, oh, here, I'll, I'll give you this little chicken nugget, but now I want the whole Big Mac. I'm not condoning McDonald's, by the way. Yeah. I'm just using this. They're using this as an analogy. No, I get it. They want... They're saying, like, don't let somebody give you a quarter to get $500. Don't do it. It's done. Those days are over right now. You need to be all about, and it's not selfish. It's self-care. And there's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Selfish is somebody feeding off of you, a full-grown man or woman trying to feed off your teats when they have their own teats. That's selfish. When they can go out there and do for themselves, but they're living off you because that's easy or taken from you, not caring about you. Now we're going to go into the mode of self-care, okay? You're going to care about yourself first and foremost. And again, if you're broke down, hurt, and depleted because you've been giving, 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 and not getting anything back, you won't be around or you won't be able to give. So right now we're entering a new era and this era is self care, taking care of you, taking care of what you need and getting some of those things in place. Excuses are excuses and they will have excuses as long as you have your hand to give to them. The moment you're, uh -huh. you know, here's the sad thing about this. And I'm going to say this for you and everybody listening. The sad thing about this is that. And it's really hard for a lot of people. When this happens, when we stop giving to some people or we're not there to give to them, whatever it is they want from us. They just find another person and they forget about us. And that can be anything from money to favors to rides to intimacy. The moment you're not there to give them that, they will find that next person they can latch on to and ride for as long as they can ride. But here's the beauty of that. As much as that hurts to know and to find out, the beauty is uh -huh. you get rid of all the users and abusers. Because they're kind of, and I'm really sorry, I'm going to, to say it in this way. Um, okay, I, I'm not going to say, here's the way I'm going to say it. No, don't better, say it. <laughs> better to have authentic people in your life than ratchet 
ass mother fresh. <laughs> I can't. No, I get stop. it. I get it. Yeah. This show wears on TV. <gasps> Lower the swears, folks. <laughs> Lower the swears. <laughs> But no, they're saying and uh, the, the biggest thing that you're going to learn in 2024 is that not only that you come first, but you should have been coming first all along, especially when it comes to men. There is no reason. And this is this is your grandma and your mom. There is no reason any man should be taking anything from any woman. And if they want to, if that's what they oh, want a no, woman. Oh, no, that hasn't happened. That's not going to happen. <laughs> good, 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 good. If they want to, they need to find somebody else. Now, if whatever is going on for you personally, whether these are relatives, uh -huh. friends, whatever, you, this year, you are going to find out about self-care, self-nurturing, who you are. And you are going to remember why you're here this year. So whatever okay. your primary purpose is, okay? And we have a lot of different purposes in our life. And our everybody's um, main purpose is self-love. And by loving ourselves, we teach everybody else to love themselves. Um, but you're going to find out one of your primary mm, spiritual purposes mm. this year. And I feel like this month, you're going to get bigger glimpses into it. Now, if I'm getting this correctly, you've always been a little mystical and you've always seen a little of this and that and the other thing. It's about to, but they're using the term, it's about to pop off or it pop open. I'm going to just say pop open for you. You're going to start to see uh -huh. more. You're going to see, see more. And it's going to start this month and it's going to continue. Now, if you have fear, it will slow it down or shut it down. So don't have fear with it. Allow it to go wide open wide open okay. kind of like when you're birthing a baby wide open sorry <laughs> but that's a portal too right uh, <laughs> you're about to yeah. <laughs> where do they come up uh, with these <laughs> my lord <laughs> okay it's about to wide open you're gonna you're going to as much as you can handle consistently they will give to you okay love and your okay. your grandmother talks to you a lot in your sleep. So when you're sleeping, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're sleeping, your grandmother is there having full on conversations with you. Okay, love. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, she <laughs> now you do now you do. She is coming in, and she's it's almost like downloads. It's almost like downloads that she's bringing to you. Okay, sweetie pie? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much okay. for calling in, sweetie. Thank you. You are have a blessed day. Oh my goodness, you too. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. Um, okay, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is uh, 845-277-9100. Three, one. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the chat right now. Um, Michelle Lee wants to know if she's going to find a different job soon. I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I feel like you're going to, you keep finding things, but they're not up to par. I feel like in June, I hear June. And in June, you are going to have a something really big come in. I don't know if that's a job. Michelle, are you working right now? Um, I feel like in June something pretty big is gonna come in for you. I don't I don't feel like that's just a job. I feel like that's 
th that's going to be, it's going to be something really, really, they just keep saying it's something really big. Something big is coming in for you in June. I don't know what it is, Michelle, but that's what I'm getting. So yeah. Uh, uh, the job thing, let me focus in on the job thing, Michelle. Um, I hear March, you might find something new that you kind of like. So that will be hopeful for you. Okay, Michelle? Um, if you do call in and you have a question, please make sure you hit the one on your phone so that um, I know that your hand is raised and I can answer that question for you. Um, Colette. Hey, Colette. Welcome to the show. Uh, the num. Um, good day to you too, Colette. <laughs> Have two brothers in heaven. I'm in hospital. Is there any kind of message from them? Thank you. Oh, Colette. Oh, my goodness. Colette, I'm, I want to read that again. You're in the hospital, Colette. I have two brothers in heaven. I'm in the hospital. Is there any message from them? Okay, I just wanted to make sure I get that. Colette, what's your age? Um, so Colette, one of the things that I want to say to you is, um, the, the first thing I'm hearing you're 60. Okay, thank you. Um, she's having surgery and she's 60. Uh, Colette, hang in there. It, it, ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child. Things are gonna be brighter. <laughs> okay, so apparently they will just throw me into a song whether I want that song or not. Okay. Um. One of the things they're saying, Colette, is just hang in there. Everything is going to get better based on that song um, and what they're saying. Um, that is the message that they have for you. I understand you may have been looking for more. I cannot give you more on air. And I apologize for that. But I hope that is they are with you. They're hanging out bedside, one on each side of your bed, and they'll be in. Okay, when you, here's what I'm going to tell you, Colette. When you go in for surgery and you know how they give us anesthesia, have the intention as you go under to talk with them and to remember it. Okay, that's, that's a really, you might not. Sometimes we don't remember, but we have the knowing that we did. We did talk with them. I'm going to go to the next caller, 760. 760, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. My name's Lori. Hey, Lori. I'm sorry. Where are you calling from, love? Oh, California. Excellent. How can I help you, love? Um, I do have a question. I feel people around me, but what is their message? I think, well, yeah, anything you like a general medium read. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to say is the people around you. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of the things I'm going to say is um, they don't all have a collective message for you. There we go. You should start to feel a little lighter or less, whatever, in a few seconds. Um, some of the, most of them just want to say, hi, how are you? Um, they're just hanging out. They're, they're for family, maybe one or two friends. Um, and they're just hanging out um, with you. And then one of the things that I, and here's, here's an interesting thing. Whenever you're thinking, and I have to word this, I don't know how to word this, but whenever you think 
something's going on, like somebody's doing something, that's them coming through, uh -huh. telling you what's going on. Like, let's just, I'm going to use a very, okay. very um, kind of blanket thing. If you think, let's just a for example, but not for a fact, I'll bet. I'll bet my partner's having lunch right now. Then your partner is probably having lunch in that moment. They're just letting you know what's going on around you and giving you that information, okay? For whatever reason, that's okay. mostly what they're doing. And they're also okay. there to give you warnings. Okay, I do have a question. Okay, but you regarding are- Regarding my brother. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your question about your brother? Um, what what's going on with him? Okay, the first is your uh, your brother is still here in the physical form, right? I haven't talked to him in years, and I'm okay. I'm thinking he passed away. Did your brother, did your brother have that you know of mental illness? Well, he wasn't a very nice guy. <laughs> okay, then possibly. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer that question and I'm just going to like give that information in the best way that I can. Um, because typically I only let people ask one question and this is your second question. So I'm just going to kind of get, get what I can from it. And I'm going to let you know that sometimes, although for me personally, whether somebody has passed or not, they show up exactly the same for me personally. Other people, maybe not, but not everybody's gifts are the same. That's just the fact. OK, um, whatever with your brother, just if you want to know if he passed, just call the coroner's office of wherever he lived and see if there's a death certificate first. Second, um, I just feel like there was just a lot of mental illness or personality disorder going on with your brother and or. Um, going on with your brother, and there was a lot of corruption to his system. And when they say corruption to a system, that can be medications, drugs, alcohol, um, whatever it is. There was just a lot of corruption to a system. And corruption to a system can also be the corruption to the mind, like people constantly beating you down in your mind or your, you constantly beating you down in your mind. Um, and no, I'm not going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. If you want to know, just uh, do that. Otherwise, um, I would let sleeping dogs lie. Don't go looking for something you don't want to find. Don't go looking for something. Don't open a box if you don't want to know what's in it. That's the message they're giving you. Sometimes the survivors have the most difficult time because we're left with whatever's left over. That's all I can say. I know that sounds kind of cryptic. And that's intentional. If you'd like to ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. If you want to ask a question, please press the one and I'll be happy to get to you. Okay. I'm going to try to find the next question um, on here. Mystic Raven, can you please tell me if there's a message from my belated dog? I miss him. Uh, Raven, tell me what your dog's name again is. Because instantly, one, two, three pets showed up. Two dogs and a, maybe a cat? I don't know. So please um, tell me, uh, toy, toy, T-O-Y. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> your dog. <laughs> your dog is cracking me up because the first um the first song that your dog is giving me is the song from Annie. It's a hard knock life for me. So I don't know if your dog was a rescue or if one of these other dogs or cat was a rescue, but it's a hard knock life for me. <laughs> um, so I don't know the story behind that, but your dog thinks that's hilarious, first of all. But thank you. Um, Toy wants to say that you saved. Your dog believes you saved. I want to say him, but it could be a her. You saved him. And that if it hadn't been for you, the situation your dog would have, the other, here's the two roads because Toy came with you. Amazing life. Amazing life, love, all of it. If you had not had taken Toy in, another owner, Toy could also see that path from up from there. And it would not have been as favorable. And that's what Toy wants you to know that the gratitude, there was gratitude here, but there's even more gratitude now, knowing the two roads and seeing the one that toy got okay i just want you to know that you were the perfect partner is um the way toy is saying that you were the perfect partner in and if i'm gonna say partner in crime for toys life and love okay i really do hope that makes sense of a message if it does please put it in the um in the chat. Okay, I'm going to go to 262. 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi, Tony. It's Amy. Hey, Amy. How can I help you? Um, I was wondering if you could tell me, I keep having the TV turn on, whatever, <laughs> and um, just noises at home and I'm wondering if somebody specific is visiting me or multiple people or what if there's anything significant there it's actually a either a grandparent or a great-grandparent it's a woman and she wore glasses she was not a skinny mm. mini but she wasn't full either and I see her so so clearly she had short hair glasses fair skin or you know, she was a white person and she's a little older. Um, and her, so was it Evelyn or Emily? Maybe Evelyn. That sounds, yeah. Uh, Emily has darker skin. So yeah, it's, kind of a it's, trick question. <laughs> I feel like it's Evelyn. I feel like, and she is there just letting you know to, um, it's it's really bizarre, but she's saying it like like instead of just I'm gonna say this the way I'm hearing it, Amy. Instead of having repetitive thoughts, just talk to them. They're there. There's like four to eight people that hang with you from the other side, and they've all crossed over, and they're all clean, as I like to say it. Um, <laughs> And if you just like ask questions, they'll just start, you know, they're there to communicate, answer questions, to, to, to work with you, to help you evolve. Um, you're not, a you're not alone. Um, and you're not, Just communicate, just communicate with them. Just communicate because the messages that they're giving me oh. are very like, you know, you feel like, you know, we all do in today's world that like, you know, we're separated and we're, we're, we're alone a bit. And they're saying, just talk to us. We're here. We're going to answer anything you want to ask us. We're, we're good on that. We will. So that's wow. their message for you. And keep a notebook. The biggest thing I'm seeing is, if you're someplace doing something and you can't ask them 
the question, keep the, keep a notebook or like a recording device near you. And then if if you're sitting at home and you can ask them questions, whatever you hear, just write it out as you're hearing it. Okay. And then ask questions based on what you hear. Okay. Now people will often so they say they are me, the ones that yeah, okay. they're the ones, Sorry. they're the ones that's there. You know, I'm hearing extreme measures because you're so in your head and like, doi -de -doi -de -doi. Okay. <laughs> you know? okay. so um, definitely gets my attention. Yeah. The, which or is, gets somebody else's attention who happens to be there and they're like, what the hell? Why does your TV always go on by itself? Yeah, they're they're actually <laughs> really working very diligently. One of the things they want to say, Amy, is that um, one of the things that's important to say right now is um, a lot of people will ask me, well, how do you know, you know, you're talking to someone who's g good per se? Well, because they'll give you they won't tell you what to do with your life and they'll give you only a loving feeling and they will only speak in terms of love. They will never say anything that is not in terms of love and care. And that's how if you're hearing things okay. or thinking that, then it's not it's then obviously whatever, but if it's love and loving, then you know. So that's the message that I'm getting for you. Okay, Amy? Cool. Thank you so much. That's you, lovely. Oh, you are so welcome. And thank you. Thank you so much. I am going to try to get one more person. Let's see. Uh, did I answer that? <laughs> Okay, Patricia, I'm going to try to answer this for you. Um, hi, Tony. Is there one or more people trying to kick me out illegally out of the temp housing I'm living in in Albuquerque? It's very stressful dealing negative, hindering workers and residents. Thanks. Okay, is somebody trying to get Patricia out of where she's living? Okay, Patricia, here's what I'm saying. Is she safe? First, okay, the first thing I want to say is you're safe. That's the first question that I'm going to ask always. Is Patricia safe where she's living? Yes. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing, Patricia, is you should not stay there much longer. It is time for you to find a more settled place to be, okay, um, a more, they're calling it to establish yourself in a better way if you can, okay, and um, you are safe, but yes, there are people, I think you're dealing with a lot of people who might not be well, you know, they might not just be well, and you're having to 90 seconds. kind of deal with that, so um, the sooner you get established on your own is a better thing. And again, Patricia, I don't know what you're doing, but if you can do some like dog sitting or house sitting for people, that will give you a reprieve to be someplace that where 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 it's a little bit, but get get in that situation where you can have a little reprieve, but establish seconds. how to establish yourself. Okay, Patricia. Okay, if I did not answer your question, please forgive me. I am so sorry. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. The show can only go 60 minutes for the purposes of TV. So yes, thank you so much, everybody who has reached out, everybody who I've been able to to answer questions for um, on the phone or, and I love each and every one of you so very, very much. Thank you for being here with me. I will see you Wednesday at 7.